Sandy's Cleaners has had to make a major shift in their business plan to stay in business. We originated in June of 1998. They employ 30 to 35 people. Two to three months ago, business boomed. We were part of Charleston's great economy. Then coronavirus moved in. Now, just a month ago, it just became nothing. I mean, there was no dry cleaning business. Tough decisions had to be made. I just pulled everybody together and there were tears all around and we said, unfortunately, we can't do this. The majority of her staff were let go for a couple of weeks. It's a little stressful trying to figure out where your income is coming from. So I just kept mulling over, you know, this is, we've got to be able to do something. What can we do? What can we do? And then an idea. Maybe we can make masks. Maybe we can serve the community. Maybe we can create these masks and scale them to large quantities. They still do dry cleaning, but two weeks into the mask business, they now are making 600 or more masks per day. Employees are back at work and masks are selling. It's been anyone from um, a major nursing home in Florida had a COVID outbreak and um, we sent a large order down there. We've sent a very large order to a trucking company in Mississippi. Um, we've served a lot of the industries around here, Mercedes being one of them, Charleston County being one of them. They're selling masks online and at their cleaners at their cost, about five to eight dollars each. Just two masks to Miss Smith and four masks to Mr. Brown and his two children. So it's been very diverse as far as where the orders are and the demands coming from. It's great to be able to pay my bills and, I, and like I said, I love sewing so I spend all day long sewing here, knowing that people are going to get these to save their lives and or somebody else. Sandy tells me most of their locations are continuing to be open Monday through Saturday. In Ladson, I'm Raymond Owens. Count on two.